Hello and welcome to weekly Russian lesson. Меня зовут Наталья. My name is Natalia. Здравствуйте. Today we'll talk about Russian middle names. Those funny sounding patronymics. And they're called patronymics because they're derived from father's name. To do that we use suffixes. For example, Sergei Petrovich means Sergei, the son of Pyotr. His father's name was Pyotr. And patronymic is derived with the help of suffix ovich, Petrovich. After watching today's lesson, you'll be able to pronounce patronymics of some of our most famous authors. Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy, Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin, and Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky. And for female patronymics, we'll look at two our famous poets, Anna Andreevna Akhmatova and Marina Ivanovna Tsvitaeva. Once you know how to pronounce these patronymics and how they're formed, and they're formed with the help of only two suffixes, two for male and two for female, then you will be able to pronounce all Russian patronymics because the second half of them is the same. So let's take a look at them and see how easy we can make it for you. Russian middle names are called patronymics. Отчество. Отчество. Patronymic. Отец is father in Russian. Отец. Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin. Sergeyevich means son of Sergei. His father's name was Sergei and the patronymic is derived from this name with the help of suffix Yevich. Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy. Nikolaevich. Can you tell what his father's name was? Nikolai. And Nikolaevich again is derived from name Nikolai with suffix Yevich. Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky, the son of Mikhail. And Mikhailovich is derived from Mikhail with suffix Ovich. Mikhailovich. You already have an idea how patronymics are derived. And here's the rules. Suffix ovich is used for names ending in consonant. Ivan, Ivanovich, Alexander, Alexandrovich, Vladimir, Vladimirovich. As you see, the suffix is just added to the end of the name without any changes. Suffix Yevich is used for names ending in Y, and in this case we drop the final Y. So Nikolai becomes Nikolaevich, Sergei Sergeyevich, Alexei Alexeyevich. These patronymics look long and difficult to pronounce, but if you practice pronouncing these two suffixes, you'll already know how to pronounce half of the patronymic. As you know, there are always exceptions in languages. So there is an exception when male name ends in a vowel. Those are very rare, very few in Russian. For example, Ilya. Ilya. In this case, the patronymic is formed with suffix ich. Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Female patronymics. Anna Andreevna Akhmatova. Anna, the daughter of Andrei. Her patronymic is formed from the name Andrei. The name ends in y. So we drop y and add suffix yevna. 
Евна, Андреевна, Марина Ивановна Цветаева, the daughter of Иван, Ивановна, the name Иван, and we add suffix овна, Ивановна. Here's the rule of forming female patronymics. Suffix овна is added to names ending in consonant. Иван, Ивановна, Александр, Александровна, Владимир, Владимировна. When the name ends in Y, which is semi-vowel, we drop the final Y and add suffix Евна. Николай, Николаевна, Сергей, Сергеевна, Алексей, Алексеевна. How do we formally address a person? To address a person formally, we use their first and middle names, first name and patronymic. If you were so fortunate as to meet Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy, we would say, Здравствуйте, Lev Nikolaevich. Dostoevsky would introduce himself, Меня зовут Fyodor Mikhailovich. We would address Anna Akhmatova as Anna Andreevna. Marina Tsvitaeva as Marina Ivanovna. This is all on Russian names. As you see, Russians have only one given name. The middle name, patronymic, is derived from father's name. The easiest way to pronounce patronymics is to learn how to pronounce those few suffixes used to derive them from father's name. Hope this was helpful. До свидания.